The next step to learning how to use a trade informed backtest model is learning how to add new technical indicators. Now the first comment I'm going to make on this is that many of these technical indicators you can do yourself. In the video, the previous video on spreadsheet skills, I showed you how easy it is to create an exponential moving average in Excel. A lot of the common technical indicators are very easy to calculate and when you know how to calculate them you'll be in a much stronger position to be able to understand what they're doing and to change them, hack them and make them do exactly what you want. However, that said, there are plenty of instances when you don't need to or want to reinvent the wheel and you may well just want to copy and paste the new technical indicator into your model. And a good source for technical indicators in Excel is my ebooks and spreadsheets, 21 technical indicators and 21 more technical indicators which you can find the spreadsheets for in the trade informed shop and I'm going to show you how you can get the data out of these spreadsheets and into your trade informed backtest model. So I'm going to take the example I'm going to use this spreadsheet here and I'm going to say that I want to insert we've got a range of different things here but I'm going to say that I want to insert how about a stochastic oscillator. Okay so this is the calculations for the stochastic oscillator and what we need to do here is we need to when we're using Excel we need to copy rather we need to match up our columns and rows. So we can see the data here is already in rows, rather columns G to K. So the easiest way to do it would be to clear out columns G to K in this spreadsheet and then rearrange things when we've finished. As I've said in our spreadsheet skills video, As I've said in our spreadsheet skills video, we can insert columns more or less where we like, but it has to be logical, otherwise the model will become a mess and will become difficult to use. So I've cleared out columns G to K. So what I can do now is just check, first of all, that the columns A, B, C, D and E correspond to the ones in my new spreadsheet. So we can see columns A, B, C, D and E are the same. We have a volume here, but I'm not using volume. So we can go ahead and copy the data. Now I'm going to take with me the column headings and I'm going to copy a few, a few rows of data. I don't need to copy it all, but we want a few. Again, the marching ants, we're using copy and paste not cut and paste here we are copying and pasting and I want to the final thing make sure I'm going to copy it into the same top left cell so cell G3 is going to be where I copy it into I pressed Control C to copy this data switch back spreadsheets go into cell G3 press Control V and as if by magic the formulas are in there all pointing at the correct columns. So the next thing we need to do is tidy things up so we have a nice organized model. I'm going to copy down the bottom row. I am going to move the titles so that they correspond with my titles here. I'm going to move any extra bit of formulas and finally I am going to Put a new column in here and I'm going to move this over here. So delete that one. So we now have our stochastic. I'm going to use a new color so I can identify it. 
we have all the formulas for our stochastic oscillator into our spreadsheet. It is exactly the same principle for copying any of the formulas out of any of the trading form spreadsheets.